What does a dermatologist buy at Sephora? I wanted to share some of my skincare, makeup, and hair favorites in case you want to pick some of them up during the Sephora holiday savings event. I'm Dr. Sam Ellis, and I'm a board certified medical and cosmetic dermatologist in Northern California. I'm here to help you understand your skin and find products that work for you. So if that sounds good, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So every year around the beginning of November, Sephora does a holiday sales event. And last year I got so many requests to give my picks and make recommendations. So this year I'm putting it together for you. I like to use this savings event, of course, to pick up gifts for other people, but also to grab a few treats for myself and then to restock my favorites. Also, I have started to travel more both for personal reasons, but also for work. And one thing I've realized about myself is that I absolutely hate packing and unpacking my toiletries. So I'm actually picking up some more travel goodies as well as some makeup duplicates so that I can just have a separate makeup bag for home and one for when I'm on the road. Okay, without further ado, let's get into my picks. I'm gonna start out with makeup. And in these sales events, I feel like makeup is specifically what I have to be the most fast acting and decisive on because in the past I've sort of put the things I want in my cart and been like, oh, I'll come back later. And then all my shades are sold out. So I am not making that mistake again. One thing I'm definitely going to pick up is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm set. Full disclosure, I am an advisor for the brand, but what I really like about these butter balms, it's sort of like makeup meets skincare. You get a lot of hydration and nourishment to the lips, but you also get a glossy sheen. So it's more than just like a chapstick. I also like that they have some tint to it. So they have their clear vanilla shade and you actually get a full size one of those in the balm set. And then they have vanilla beige, which is more of sort of like a nudie neutral. They have their brown sugar color, which is a little bit deeper. And then they have their poppy shade, which is sort of like an orangey coral. But these are just sort of a wash of color. You don't have to fully commit on having a highly pigmented lip when you wear these. So I feel like they're amazing for every day. I actually wear the vanilla beige color pretty much every single day. It just goes so beautifully over the top of any lipstick that I'm already wearing. Or if I have nothing on my lips, it just gives a little bit of color. I want to pick up a balm set so I can try the other shades. And I also will probably pick up a couple more of these to give as gifts. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I am a lip product fanatic. So I do have a couple of other makeup recs in the lip category. First up is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I think this is supposed to be like a multi-use pencil, but I exclusively use it as a lip liner and it is perfect. I really like this lip liner for a couple of reasons. One is the texture. So it is smooth and creamy enough to go on very smoothly, but it's not so creamy that I feel like it's not going to last or it's going to smear because I want precision. And then it's hard enough that I can get that precise line, but it doesn't dry out or make my lips feel uncomfortable. And then of course it comes in the perfect shade. My go-to color in this is Wherever Walnut. It is such a beautiful pinky brown. It's like my lips, but better with a little bit of edge. And it goes with so many different lipsticks. It's actually what's on my lips right now. And I'm just, I'm obsessed. I need like five of them. And then my last lip product, I promise, is the Merit Lipstick. Now, now, these have already gotten a lot of love on my Instagram, but for good reason. I mean, they are so creamy and beautiful. And I mean, the packaging, this is the shade Slip. It's also what I'm wearing today. So I have the Makeup Forever lip pencil and then Slip by Merit on my lips. And I just think it is such a gorgeous color, but more importantly, it doesn't taste bad because I actually hate the taste of lipstick so much. So it can't have a bad taste. It can't have a bad smell and it needs to be comfortable. And this checks all of those boxes. All right, let's move on. I want to take a second to give a shout out to eyebrows. Now everyone has a different flavor of eyebrow that they go for in their look. Some like that very highly laminated, very defined look. Some want a softer brow, but I think we can all agree on the fact that once we set up our eyebrows for the day, we want them to stay that way. And to achieve this, the brow product that I have been reaching for the most is the Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter, their brow gel. I think that's the full name. But the reason I like this so much is it gives such great long lasting hold to your brow brows, but it also doesn't get like flaky or crunchy and your brows don't feel stiff on your face, which I think is so important that you can like move your face throughout the day and you're not worried that your brow gel is going to flake off and get gross. The other thing I really like about this brow gel is the actual brush. The brush I really think can make all the difference. I've tried so many great long
long holding brow gels in my day, but sometimes the brush just is not it. And this one is, it has very, very fine bristles, which allows you to coat every single brow hair with a very fine layer of gel. And I think that's what makes it look so good and holds so well. All right, I just have a couple of more makeup recommendations. Sorry, there's so many good ones to choose from. My entire makeup look today is also all from products that I purchased at Sephora. So if you're interested in sort of achieving this vibe, I will link all of those products below as well. I wanted to give a shout out to a new favorite complexion product, and it is these Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealers. Pick them up in a couple of shades, which I almost always do for concealers. I always want one that is a true skin match, and I use that for covering up blemishes or on days that I don't really want to wear like a full face of foundation, and I just want a little bit of light coverage everywhere. And then I always pick up a shade that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone for areas that I want to highlight or brighten like my under eyes. So I have shades four fair and six medium. And with those two colors, I can sort of do a full face in just concealer if I wanted to. But what I really love about this concealer is the pigment. So it's not the most pigmented concealer I have ever used, but you do get some really good coverage with it. But even more importantly is the finish. I mean, I guess it comes in the name, but it is the most beautiful, hydrating, radiant finish. It's like your skin, but better. I think the whole point within this sort of beautiful skin line within the Charlotte Tilbury collection is to actually enhance your skin while you're wearing makeup. And I feel like they have really achieved this. I also really love the foundation within this line. And again, it's because it makes your skin look so good. It's not that you're just using it as paint to cover up your blemishes, but it really enhances the look of your skin. And then my final recommendation are the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Colors. These are a cream eyeshadow that come in a stick, super easy to use, very long wearing, and just gorgeous shade range. I like these so much because they are incredibly convenient. They take up almost no space in my makeup bag. And just with like two seconds of application, you can make yourself look and feel pulled together. I think the shade that I wear the most often is called Strapless. I actually got it for my birthday as a gift from Sephora. And it is sort of a beautiful shimmery taupe. The other colors I really like are Au Naturel, which is almost always sold out. And then they've sort of released these new colors. And there's a shade called Forbidden Rose that I have not tried yet, but is 100% up my alley and I will be grabbing it. Okay, makeup done. I probably should have just made an entire video dedicated to makeup I would pick up at the Sephora sale, but let's talk about skincare. First up, I highly, highly recommend the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I've used these so many times on my Instagram and every time I show myself using them, I get a bajillion DMs that are like, yes, those are the best. And they kind of are. My only gripe with these pads is they're called a universal daily peel pad. And I just feel like you should not be exfoliating every single day. Thank goodness skin cycling became on trend and people finally learned that you probably shouldn't be exfoliating every single day. So I feel like people are doing it properly now. If you are going to use these, I recommend once a week, twice a week max. Anyway, the reason I like these pads so much is I think it has a very nice blend of acids. There's salicylic acid, which is going to help get into the pores and clear out any congestion, but there are also alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid and malic acid that are going to help more with surface exfoliation and dullness without overstripping your skin. I should also mention that the peels come as individually packaged sets. There's this first step, which is the exfoliation step. And then afterward you apply the second step, which helps neutralize that peel. And it also has retinol and some really nice antioxidants. And so that one, two step is pre-packaged for you. And I think you get three in a box. So I really like picking these up at the sale because it basically lasts me at least six months, if not the entire year, because I exfoliate no more than once a week. My next skincare favorite that I get at Sephora, which you've already heard me talk about if you've watched my video about skincare products that proved me wrong, but it's the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Mist. This is like my new skincare addiction. This product is a super fine hydrating mist that I will often use instead of a moisturizer, but you could also put it on underneath a moisturizer. And it just gives my skin a little bit of life. In my skincare video about things that proved me wrong, I kind of talk more about how I use it, but I love using it in the morning after I splash some water on my face when I'm gonna go work out and I don't wanna have my face feel dry or tight. I also like to use it in the evening before I put my retinoid on just to give my skin a little bit of hydration to serve as a slight barrier to my retinoid so I get less irritation. And it just works so perfectly for me that way. And I feel like a lot of people might enjoy this as well. I should also mention it takes a long time to get through that bottle. I've been using it twice a day, pretty much every day for months. And I'm like two thirds of the way through it. I also think this would make a super nice gift. It's one of those skincare items that people probably don't even know that they want. And I think, you know, you kind of have to teach them how to use it. But once they do, I feel like it just is such a nice compliment to 
to a skincare routine, whether or not someone uses a lot of things in their skincare routine or they have a very minimalist routine. I think lots of people could benefit from adding it in, especially if they have dry or sensitive skin. I have another skincare recommendation from Laneige and it is their Sika sleeping mask. If you have dry skin, if you're always going, man, my skin is just like a little bit thirsty. This is such a lovely moisturizer. This is basically the exact opposite of the refiner mist, but what I like about it, it is thick and luxurious feeling, but it doesn't feel waxy at all. I feel like my skin can still sort of breathe through it, even though I'm the first person to tell you that your skin doesn't need to breathe. I guess what I'm saying is my skin doesn't feel suffocated when I use it, but still feels very supported. I know lots of people who use this as their nighttime or evening moisturizer. The way I use it is I actually leave it on my bedside table and I often do my skincare routine a couple of hours before I'm actually going to bed. Like I get home from work. I know I'm not going out the rest of the night. I do my skincare routine just so I don't get too tired. But sometimes before I go to bed, I still feel like my skin is a little bit on the dry side, especially in the winter months or if I've been going all in on my retinoid. And so I will apply this sleeping mask like right before I go to bed. And then I feel like I wake up with like the most dewy, supple looking skin. And then one other sort of skincare related thing that I'm going to pick up at the sale is the Lancome Eye Makeup Remover. I am completely out of it and I feel like it is the best, best, best eye makeup remover. And that comes from someone who is a connoisseur of makeup remover balms, makeup remover oils. This stuff works the best. I know it's definitely on the pricier side, so I totally save it for the nights that I am wearing like waterproof mascara or a really heavy, dark eye makeup look. But I love that I don't have to tug on my eyes. I love that I can really get everything off with this product. And don't even try to tell me that the Neutrogena eye makeup remover is a dupe for this. It is not. Okay, that's it for skincare. Just a few key recommendations. And now we should move on to my favorite, hair care. If you're just using your regular bath towel to dry your hair, stop doing that. It's not as effective. It puts excess tension on your strands. Like get a designated hair drying towel. And one of my absolute favorites, I think I have like five of them by now, is the Aquis hair towels. These are much better than traditional towels that you would use on your body in terms of being able to remove excess water from your hair. And that's great because then if you do anything like heat styling. You don't have to blow dry your hair as long as you normally would. Or even if you're allowing your hair to air dry, we know that prolonged wetness of the hair can be damaging. So anything that's going to help safely remove excess water from the hair is beneficial. The one I have here is sort of their newest style, I believe, which is called the Aquis Flip. And it's got this nice thick elastic band in the back. So once you put your hair up into the turban, you can really tuck a lot of it back behind you and keep it up and out of your face. This is also quite a large towel. So if you have long hair or really thick hair, I think this is a great model for you. In addition to my Sephora sale picks, I'll probably also put together like a skin and hair care gift guide, but I would absolutely put this in the gift guide. It is an amazing gift. I remember giving one to my mom and she literally texted me the next day, like this is life changing. And what's a higher compliment for a gift you've given. I have another hair tool recommendation and that is this hairbrush by Crown Affair. It has boar bristles as well as synthetic nylon bristles. And it is such a wonderful, wonderful hairbrush. I never thought I would spend more than like 20 bucks on a hairbrush, especially because I've been using the wet brush for so long. But I found that postpartum, my hair quality was lacking. It was more frizzy. It was harder to tame. And I just needed a higher quality hairbrush to deal with it. And this one has been so amazing. I mean, first of all, the way this brush feels on your scalp, it is like, ooh, this is so soothing. And I really find that those boar bristles help distribute the oils down the entire shaft of my hair much better. The other thing is when I'm styling my hair, I have all these like tiny little baby hairs that are regrowing postpartum. And I found when I was using like a wider tooth brush, I wasn't able to capture those and really tame my hair nearly as well. So I've liked this brush for all of those reasons. I also find that it's kind of extended my styling capability so I can get like one extra day out of my unwashed hair because I really find that it helps distribute the oils down my hair so well. So yeah, this Crown Affair hairbrush has become my go-to hairbrush. And I'm actually really excited to try more of their products. The other thing I really like about this hairbrush is it's great for styling. If you're trying to do like a smooth, sleek ponytail, it really helps you grip all of those little hairs. And then lastly, and I know this is such a small little point, but it's the details for me. It comes in its own little travel bag, which is so nice because you don't get your hair all over the place. It keeps your brush clean. And so that sort of like sealed the deal for it for me purchasing this brush. And I'm so glad I made the investment. Another one of my absolute favorite hair care items is the Virtue Healing Oil. This hair oil is holy grail for me. I use this oil in two ways. One is if 
I've woken up with a little bit of bed head and I just need to get that under control, I will run a little bit of this oil through my hair and then I will do heat styling like with a large curling iron. And people are like, wait a second, you're putting oil on your hair and then you're going to curl it. Isn't that going to fry your hair? But no, this is a heat protectant. And then pretty much every day I put a few drops of this oil on my hair just to smooth things down, to calm things. It has a delicious coconutty scent that is not sickly sweet. It's almost like refreshing and citrusy, but also coconutty. And I just love the way it makes my hair look and the way it makes my hair feel. I also, even though it kind of looks like I have thick hair, my hair is very fine and can get frizzy quite easily. And I also find that a lot of hair oils really weigh it down and make it look greasy or heavy. And that is absolutely not what I want to achieve. So I really like how lightweight this particular oil is. Another recommendation that I have is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. So this product uses their proprietary K18 peptide to help repair the hair. Now, hair repair systems and hair repair technology don't work for everyone, but for people who they work for, they love it. And I've had plenty of people tell me that they've used the K18 product and noticed a drastic improvement in how their hair both looks and feels. If you're interested in optimizing your hair, I have an entire YouTube video dedicated to teaching you how to achieve your fullest, healthiest hair. So you should totally check it out. But I talk more about K18 in that video. And if you're sitting here going, you know, I've tried a lot of things for my hair. I haven't found much success in how to repair it or how to make it feel or look healthier. I think K18 is worth a shot and why not try it while it's on sale? Okay, I just have a couple more hair care things, but they fall sort of into a different category, which is travel sized hair care. Some hair care and some skincare I can just put in a smaller container when I'm going to travel with it. But anything that's aerosolized, dry shampoo, texturizing spray, hairspray, I actually need like a mini version of those. And I'd like to pick them up when they're on sale because it's at least a slightly better deal that way. So first up is the Aura Bay Super Fine Hairspray. This is sort of a medium hold hairspray. It's very brushable. I like to use it when I travel because if I put my hair in waves or if I straighten my hair and then I'm out all day long, I like to know that my hair is going to stay put but not look rock solid. I was recently traveling for a wedding and then last minute I realized, oh my gosh, I don't have a travel size hairspray. And I had to go get one from the drugstore. And let me tell you, not a lot of options out there. So when I have the opportunity to stock up on my travel size good stuff, I'm going to. Next up is the Living Proof Mini Restore Perfecting Spray. This is sort of like a detangler, leave-in conditioner, UV and heat protectant. It's sort of the only hair care product that I use on wet hair when I'm traveling. And then the last travel size hair care thing that I'm going to pick up is the Living Proof, the Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I can have all the good intentions in the world of washing my hair when I'm on vacation, but there are some days where you get back late from your day activities. You don't have time to wash your hair before you're going out to dinner and evening activities, and you just really need a good dry shampoo. And this one is fabulous. Dry shampoo is like my hair parachute or my hair safety blanket. I don't always need to use it, but I always like to have it just in case. Okay, that's it. If you made it to the end of the video, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I am so curious, what are you picking up during the Sephora sale? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Thank you.